Hey guys, welcome back. Joe here again, scalefreak.com, coming to bring you another video in, well I guess it's the F-bomb and the Red Devil Recon series because I did the work to both of them. Uh, basically what it is, it's a product review for the RC4WD, uh, the shackles, the, the D-rings, the shackles, whatever you want to call them. I believe they call them shackles on their website. Uh, but more specifically, the comparison between the normal size shackles and then the minis that I've actually got installed on this truck right here. Uh, so it, it, it's obviously going to be very difficult for you to see them from here, but check out the video. I want you to see exactly what my thoughts are on these things, what I use them for, and uh, what my recommendation is. So watch the video, check it out. Packaging for this product, extremely simple. I mean, it is a, uh, a little package. It's tiny. And of course, this thing is uh, rc 4 Z. S0075. You can get this at your hobby shop. You can get this at uh, RC4WD. Um, and the whole idea behind this, again, it is a scale looking product. Do you need something like this? No. Could you make this yourself? Yes. Could you make it look as real as this? Maybe. Uh, but I wanted to buy them. Uh, and of course, these things here are the mini toe shackles. Uh, and I want to be very, very clear about the mini. The reason why, uh, of course, when you go through here, I've got on the F-Bomb, I have the normal size toe shackles. These are the ones that uh, were available years ago when I bought them, and they've been well, well loved. You can see there's not much for paint left on them. Uh, and of course, over here on the Red Devil Recon, I actually installed the minis already. Now, uh, why do I love these things? Well, they, they do add a scale look to it. The difference is, is that the, the King Kong shackles I threw on this one, the normal size shackles, they didn't do what I wanted them to do. Yes, you can fit a, a, a large, you know, not scale looking hook like that to go on it. But something like this little hook here that actually comes with the RC4WD winches, the King Kong hooks, you can also get them from RC4WD. When you're looking at a scale size of these hooks, they won't hook onto these things. The, it's just, the, the shackle is just too big. The, the, the diameter of the metal is just too big and it won't, it won't go on. But these mini ones, which are actually more scaled to the rig. I mean, if you've ever gone and had a shackle in your hand, you'd see that they're not monstrous big ball hangers hanging off the bottom of the truck. It doesn't have to be a beast. It can be something small like this, and you can see here that the hook, without concern, does fit through there. So if you're going to be hooking onto somebody or someone's going to be hooking onto you, or if you're using something like a snatch block to, to, block to triangulate, uh, you can hook onto yourself and easily get that taken care of. Of course, again, I got my RC Aquatic tow rope here. No problem on the big ones, so no concern there. And But these aren't scale-looking hooks, so that's kind of what I wanted to get to was to go for the scale look of it. You are going to need to get these smaller ones if you want them to function correctly. Now, the part itself, super, 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 super simple to install. There's not even a point of showing you how I did it. It's just all a matter of showing you how it works. So the part itself is just a, a metal ring or shackle, D-ring, um, and then it's threaded on one side. You can kind of pull the screw out here, and that's it. All you do is slide that onto where you want to attach it. Guys, I want to be clear, use thread lock on this. I use the, the, the Loctite 222 um, because these things here are going to be, you can see here, they, they, do, uh, they are loose, they're free. And if you don't thread lock them down, eventually that screw will back itself off and you will lose your shackle. Uh, I'll also caution you that when you're tightening it down, basically what I do is I, I tighten it down by hand as much as I can and then I grab pliers and then just continue to spin it from there. You do not need to crank this thing right flat because there's enough thread on that screw that it will actually close the hoop and flatten down on the bumper, in which case it's stuck. It's rigid. It doesn't flop around like it's supposed to, like these ones do. So you could actually flatten it right solid. Just caution for that. Uh, so yes, you can see here that there are the different mount points on bumpers and things like that to put them in here. But another reason why I kind of like to have the shackles on there are a few other products that uh, you're gonna see in later videos. Um, one of them being this bad boy here. This is the new anchor, stuff like that. You don't necessarily have to, because I mean, if, if you were to land anchor with something like this and just hook it in, or hook it in with something like that, if you were to loosen your grip on it at all, the hook may fall out. But that's not what you want, because that would be a massive pain in the ass. Instead, what you can do is hook your line or your rope directly to, like this, put the screw back in there, and let's just say that you've got a rope attached to that as well. Actually, you know what? I've got a rope right here. Might as well use it, right? 
bring the RC Aquatic rope back. I'm not going to use the hook portion of it. I'm just going to jam the fabric in there like if it was a voodoo rope or uh, something like that. So you can go in there and the next thing you know, that part of the unit is completely locked down. You're not going to lose your connection on that. Just please ignore this little guy in here. It is taking up space. Uh, but you get the idea of, of what I'm saying is you'd be able to, let me see if I can make this look exactly how I want it to. One second, I'll do this so that the rope is in there and then I'll put this across here. There we go. That's exactly what I would do if I was doing it. So you can see how the rope is into the hook and then you've got the actual part of the shackle through here and then bang, you've got a solid connection. And that's what something else I would use that unit for is just to be able to make that hard point connection so that you wouldn't have a hook that may just drop itself off. If the rig that you're towing out were to come loose and then you dropped it, because remember, I mean, it is scale. Some of us run more scale than others. I'm not including myself in that because uh, because I don't run super scale. But the idea behind it is, is that if, if you are out uh, actually four wheeling or, or wheeling, when you make that connection, you want it to stick. You don't want to have to keep getting out of your rig uh, to go back and hold it there. And also, of course, when you're running a winch line, uh, few and far between, you're going to find somebody brave enough to stand beside a winch line as you're pulling a truck out. Because if that sucker snaps, the, the power and force that comes behind a, a, a tightened winch line is enough to break somebody in half. So, again, something neat to have for your scale features, something neat to have on your rig to, to add another look of realism, and, and I really like it. You can see here that it, they hang nice, uh, and I mean, they will get absolutely annihilated as I use them up against the rocks, but they're on there now, they look good. Now, I'm actually going to change all of the shackles on the F-Bomb to these minis. Actually, hold on, I'll do that now. Now I have them installed on both of my trucks. Uh, there aren't any on the back of this one here. I usually just use the back axle or the chassis for that. Uh, but of course, on my, my F-Bomb, I do have the RC4WD bumper installed in the back. So you can see they're back here. Uh, and if I flip this bad boy around, there, of course, on the front as well. So now I've got them on the front end. Well, the front and back of this rig and the front on this rig. Eventually, I may upgrade the rear of this to have something like that as well. So, But I did want to show you before I ended the video exactly kind of what the difference is. So here in my hand, there is the mini. There is the normal. So you can kind of see a bit of a difference. Now, to compare that as well, this is the shackle pin for the mini. That is the shackle pin for the normal. So again, you can see that there is a significant difference in the size of the part itself. This thing here would definitely be able to carry way more weight than this one would, but honestly, I don't think any of our trucks are there. And again, as I mentioned, where that hook go, the hooks just do not correctly fit into that one. Uh, let me try this here. And they will fit into this. So I think what I'll wind up doing is using these larger shackles uh, just to have around as spares so that I can do stuff like this for when I am putting it on my land anchors, my winch lines, uh, I'll see if it fits with the thimble, ARB snatch block, all of the above. So I can always use some extra shackles in a toolbox on the back of my rig just to make sure I can make a good connection. So that's it for this, guys. Uh, I guess the, the shackles are holding this video together. Ha, 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 ha. Sorry, guys. Odd sense of humor today. Uh, so that's it for the shackles, guys. I wanted to sh kind of show you the differences between the normal size and the mini size. My personal recommendation for a scale look is to go with the mini size, but of course, it's your rig, man. You do whatever you want to it. This is just what I'm doing. Uh, and of course, as always, guys, please remember, oh, it helps a ton. So just uh, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Leave your comments below. What are you using for hard points on your truck? Are you using shackles? Are you just wrapping around the bumper? What is it that you find uh, useful to be able to make that solid, solid connection? And of course, guys, I, I'm not really sharing this uh, around the internet like I used to. I used to spam everything and I'd get messages like, wow, you just released this in like 15 different channels at once. Uh, so I kind of stopped doing that. Uh, so if you know you want to help me out, just share this with your communities that you think will really appreciate the info that I have here. Check out some of my other videos as well. So guys, again, thank you very much and uh, have a great day.